We propose in this project to observe on successive days the position of each of the four major moons of Jupiter, which are Io, Europe, Ganymede, and Callisto, to deduce finally their orbital period as well as Jupiter rotational period. Well, the material that you need in this uh, project are a telescope. In my case, I have a Celestron CPC 800, which is computerized. You don't need a computerized telescope. Uh, I have a 14 inch uh, telescope. You need a camera. In my case, I've used a Canon EOS 500D. You need uh, well something to attach the camera to the telescope. In my case, I have a T-ring adapter, which uh, attach the camera which is not so clear here, to the telescope, which made my life easier. Now, the programs that you need for this project are MATLAB, Excel, Photoshop. Uh, you might use it because it will enhance your pictures. Well, it will enhance some colors in your pictures, will, which will enable enables you to see the uh, Jupiter eye. So basically, I'll give you an example. A process picture that I've used also Photoshop I've said in my background so this is Jupiter I as you can see it's pretty clear and you need this in order if you want to calculate the rotational uh, period of Jupiter around an axis a virtual axis here because based on this you're gonna you will know where you're gonna track this guy and see how fast it's moving in time and this is how you can get the period of Jupiter rotation now, how accurate is that? We're going to see that. Now, uh, before starting the project, I would like to discuss where you can find my project. Uh, I'll make sure to upload a link down in the description, which is my GitHub link. You should go to Astronomy once you go to the link. And this is where you can find all the project. You can find the readme file, why we did this project, the MATLAB code that you will need it. It's a sample code for one uh, to, to get the period of, Cali of Ganymede, actually. But it's the same code. You can use it for any uh, data that you get from each moon. So this is the whole project in PDF. You can read. So you can stop this video and read if you prefer to read. Uh, these are my data where I calculate the distances of each moon relative to Jupiter. You're going to see that next in some minutes. These are my process pictures and those are my pictures that I've took uh, with my telescope with the, with the time on it especially. So this was March 12, 2015 at this time. This is very important by the way. You need to enable this option in your camera or, or you can take it manually but it would be nicer to have it on the picture. So back to the project. So, first thing you're going to do, which is observation. We started to take some accurate shots of Jupiter extensively for about two weeks, more than once every time at the interval of four hours at least. And we retrieved the apparent distance of each moon compared to Jupiter's surface. And we choose as unit D the apparent diameter of Jupiter. For me, this is one unit I will consider it. We don't know how, what is the size of it now, but uh, we know it from Google, you can find it. But now, I will, for, for the purpose of the project, I will consider this as a D. I don't need it. So, now, uh, once I've said this, now we have used something called... Well, first let me show you more pictures. So Jupiter, those are the moons, and it's really funny, you're going to see in time, some are moving faster than the other. It's pretty interesting, which makes sense, some, some moons are closer, and some moons are making this circle, so you can see it slower here, going faster than, slower here, going, it's pretty interesting. I wish I could, I took all the pictures and did a time lapse, and you, can, you would see those moons going back and forward, which I find that pretty interesting. Now, once you take those pictures, each picture you're going to upload it to this software. I will put the name down below in the description about the software. Well, the name of the software, which is Digitize Plot to Data. This software, they used to do, use it in biology in order to measure dense, uh, distances between two cells in the micro world. 
So basically, let's say this is a cellul and this is I don't know bacteria. So if you know the di diameter of the cellul, you can uh, you can know how far this bacteria or whatever virus is compared to this guy. So it's pretty interesting that I'm using some, something in the micro world to the macro world. Now I want explaining you how you upload this and how you put a unit diameter. So this is my a unit for me. This is one unit for me. I set this actually, and this is now in a in a frame of coordinate, which is very interesting. That means I can know where's the x y z. Uh, sorry, the x y of this, x y of this guy, of this guy, of this guy. So I can calculate the distance between uh, the moon and the Jupiter. This is what we need, and we have the time. So you do this for each frame, then you have distance. You calculate, you upload those data in Excel. So we have X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z of every point in your uh, system. Then you can get the distance by using Pythagora. So if you go to Excel, those are my data. This is just, I'm using the square root of this minus this square plus this minus this square, which is simple. So once we have that, that means you know the distance variation in function of each time frame, which you know it. So this minus, I don't know when was the last, the previous time, you have the delta T. And now you can get also the delta D. So what I did, I've used MATLAB for this. Now, again, I don't know if I should discuss more about this. Well, yeah, by using this software, we were, we were able to upload our shot in an in a coordinate system where we could accurately retrieve the coordinate of Jupiter and each of its moons center. So again, as I said, after retrieving those coordinates, we've uploaded them on Excel and we've calculated the distance separation of each moon relative to Jupiter center. And this is the sample I can show you here. You're going to see all those files in, in my GitHub. You can access them once you go to the link in the description. So, next. After calculating each distance variation in function of time for each moon relative to Jupiter, we've uploaded those data into MATLAB. Then we have wrote a program, then plotted those distance variation data in function of time. Where's the plot? This is a plot and this is, this is a, a Ganymede example. These are the coordinate. This is of Ganymede. So, what I was saying, yeah, we use the curve fitting operation to retrieve the equation of each graph where we deducted that each graph have a sinusoidal shape. So when I plotted this guy, look what I've got, those points which fit in a sinus sinusoidal uh, curve, which makes sense actually. The well, if, if the moon is rotating, so imagine, I don't know how I'm going to say it, this is a rotating part. If you put a time frame in it, it becomes this, which is a sinusoidal function. So this was a cosine. Well, it's a cosine function if you want. It's a circle now, okay. But once you put time on it, then you get a sinusoidal or a cosine function. So, next, after uh, getting the plot, uh, we've used a consign fi a fitting function in order to fit those data. But there's something in this code which is not so good because as you can see, the fit is not exactly, it doesn't fit 100%. It is close enough, but not 100%. Why? Because I'm using a cosine function only. And this means I'm considering that the orbit uh, of the moon, of the moons of Jupiter are exactly circular, which is not true. Well, around Jupiter, the moons are rotating in an elliptical motion, not a circular. If it was circular, then this guy will fit 100%. So I would recommend if you can change this and the fitting that we're having and try to add an exponential function in this guy. It will 
make it will enhance your results so for example this is for Ganymed I've retrieved it the period seven days for Europe 3.5 and so on for IO 1.7 now I would like to make a point about IO which was a little bit annoying. Well the plot of the trajectory of IO was the most difficult considering that the same sample are taken at an interval of one day and this appeared superior to his half period which is something called I don't know if I, sh I should mention it you can google it Shannon theorem of sampling it's called. Now but uh, after analyzing I could retrieve this as you can see it's pretty annoying look how many yeah now this is nice we have all the periods now now this is the official if you want NASA results and this is where I've cal I want to calculate the error the official value minus my experimental results and divide it by the official so interesting very small error now the IO error was pretty little bit more than the others but still it was good 1.5 percent the difference between my value and what NASA if you want to get pretty interesting because uh, yeah we're doing this at home and it's nice that we are able to do those stuff in our base now finally how to retrieve yeah we have tried to calculate the period of rotation of Jupiter uh, with the same method discussed previously in addition with some ge uh, geometry by following extensively the motion of Jupiter's eye and finally got uh, yeah this picture you can see here is the eye it's not so clear so basically what I did this is the axis of rotation of Jupiter so I was looking at each time it was going uh, backward or whatever so uh, I, I've uh, this was the center and this is uh, I've considered that this is the axis of rotation the middle of this diameter this is what I set here and I've uh, I was looking at the center of this eye and checking that how the distance were variating and based on that I've tried to make a rough estimation of uh, uh, how you can do this manually you don't you, you don't need to use any just do it roughly and you will get around eight day eight hours sorry so this is what I got but the official wa value is 9.9 .9, which is 10 hours okay close enough I'm sure we can enhance this I didn't really invest a lot of time on this I, I'm sure I can find a better solution Maybe I needed to use another equation for this because here it's a circular. I'm sure we can enhance this, but this is not bad. And it wasn't the intention of this project. My intention was to get the period of uh, uh, the moons of Jupiter. That was an extra thing. So I hope you liked this tutorial. Uh, so please subscribe and... Uh, and put a thumbs up on my video. Thank you.